Hey guys, I'm here in uh, Portland and uh, heading across the Columbia River here over into Washington. I'm going to head over to the Beacon Rock, which is about 45 minutes east on uh, Washington, Washington State. And I plan on going to hike up there. It's about 600 feet up, which is, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that actually. Rock there is it's about they say it's about 45 minutes of um, round trip up and down, but you know, I'm gonna be there for hours. And it's a pretty cool area. The uh, the state park is also there, which is I guess you know, I've never been there, but yeah, I it's, it's, it's pretty cool. To uh, it's uh, it said on Wikipedia that um, that that rock was unscaled until 1901, which uh. Been there for a long time before somebody got there. The where we are is the opposite side of on the Portland side, Oregon that is, and over the Oregon side. We have the waterfall area, the whole waterfall on route, I think it's Route 30, that goes out, which is actually um, the Mulholland Waller waterfall from the Twin Peaks is over there. So we're on the opposite side of the water, but we hit that on the way back. Maybe check that out. I heard, you know, it is Saturday, so I heard that it's pretty packed over there, so I'm not really sure how much time I'm going to spend over there. I might go there during the week, have less people hang out there. Alright, so I will uh, get another clip when I'm on my way up. We gotta take a quick peek at this. Look at that. Oh my god. It's out there. See the rock which just kind of sticking out of the This is just gorgeous. That, my friends, is where we're going. We gotta go there. Look at that. Just incredible. So I'm here at the uh, Beacon Rock, and uh, I'm about to take this mile-long hike up there. Doesn't look like much from here, but apparently that's like 800 and some feet at the top of the summit. So it's gonna be a good time. So I'll see you at the top. We're on the way. All right. here at the top of Beacon Rock and uh, the view is rather lackluster on the back end. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use my uh, little monopod part of my uh, Zomi tripod there. Let me see if I can get a little bit higher get you guys a better view here. Hopefully that's decent. Let's try for another angle here.
guys. Thinking about taking a shot here, but not quite sure it's gonna look good. There's no clouds. Nothing really of interest except for that. So I'll do it anyway. So didn't like the view up there. I got a shot, but it's nothing like nothing great. So I went a little bit off the path and basically a little bit off, off on this ledge here. But the view is just breathtaking here. I, and the leading lines for that is way better. It's not obscured by trees and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to get this shot here. I may switch over to the 20 millimeter for this one and maybe do a, a slight panorama just to kind of cover that whole range of water mountains and then that power plant or bridge off there in the distance. I'm not quite sure what that is. So I uh, got that from the uh, rock, which was phenomenal. I mean, the top was lackluster. I didn't think it was that great. Um, there was, like, as you noticed, there was like an obstructed view, like three-fourths of the view. Um, so I wasn't really happy with that. I went further down, and there was one spot that had like a ridge that went out. And I went out on that ridge, and that was amazing. Just amazing. So that was cool. Um, I think that uh, I would love to go out there some other time when it was like no people. And maybe with the sun coming from the other angle, it also would be cool, just different light. Um, so I'm down from there, and I'm headed back towards the other side over to Oregon. And I'm stopping here at um, a recommended place by a friend of mine. He said I should stop here, the little Viking drive-in. So, duh, I gotta stop here, right? So I got me a nice big cheeseburger, got me a cherry malt. It's gonna be good. All right, well, stay tuned for the next video, which is gonna be a bunch of waterfalls. Not sure if I'm going to get that today. It just depends on the angle of the sun, whether that's going to you know, put too much shadow on the water and stuff. But stay tuned. See you guys later.